Many people want to know if it's a good idea to bring your dog to the dog park or not, simply because there, is, there could be a dog fight in a dog park. My experience is most of the time you'll be okay, but there are times when it's not. So my question for myself or for you is, if something does go wrong, what happens then? No. no. Hey guys, I've been making this video called My Kane Koso Venchi is a lover not a fighter because he is and I feel even more strongly about finishing up this video and post it because Venchi was under a bit of an attack today In a moment you will see a gun dog, a pointer, decided to pick on my dog My Kane Koso Venchi and pick a fight with him The initial response of my dog is kind of funny He kind of just moved sideways, dodged the attack move like Muhammad Ali, uh, move like a butterfly. Before he can sting like a bee, we stop the fight. <laughs> First, when I show my wife this video, she's like, how can this potato move sideways faster than a gun dog charging at him forward? I guess only a Kane Koso knows his own potential. And nobody call my Kane Koso a pussy because he didn't fight back. He can dodge bullets. <laughs> So what you just saw was the first encounter. So the first time Vinci evaded all the attacks, it didn't take long for the dog to turn around, come back and challenge Vinci again for the second time. And this time he grabbed the side of Vinci's skin. Didn't really mark him, but he was grabbing onto him. So Vinci quickly turned around, start biting back and he was charging forward. I was aware of things might escalate. So I was standing next to Vinci the whole time and I just grabbed his collar and pulled him back because I don't want Vinci engaged in any fight. I don't want to turn Vinci into a dog fighting dog or aggressive dog and I told the owner of the pointer to uh, take his dog back so we can separate the dogs in different area of the park the second time I didn't I basically dropped the camera on the grass and just go between the dogs this time it was really aggressive the owner of that dog had seven dogs two large ones the pointer and one uh, looks more like a shepherd mix and five other small dogs um, she couldn't control all the dogs if they all come together. You can't pull them apart. So I, I went between the dogs. The second time when he launched the tag, Benchy turned around and started to bite back. So I immediately pulled his collar, pulled him back. Because the last thing I want is turning my Benchy into a, a, a dog aggressive carne corso. Almost all the time, I walk my dog in the neighborhood without the leash. And all my, all my neighbors know how well my dogs behave. The last thing I want is turn my dog into an aggressive dog. Once I pulled my dog back, I was shushing the pointer and the pointer was ag aggressive towards Vinci, but it wasn't human aggressive. So it backed off a little bit and the owner pulled her dog back. Uh, a few minutes later, the owner thought I left the park. She came back. She came back. And this time the two dogs just ran towards Vinci again. The owner was way behind calling the dog, but the dog didn't listen. I did the same thing. I hold Vinci back and just shush the dog until the owner come and put the leash on them. Then I walk a, to a different direction and uh, stay away from those dogs. Kane Koso can be a really aggressive dog. I'm so glad I thank God I have Vinci because I really don't want any aggression from my dog, especially um, there's a lot of other small dogs, uh, children in my life. Um, neighbors, I don't want to have any troubles. I moved to the different area of the park. I saw another guy walking towards uh, the pointer with a big alpha male dog and told him hey, be careful because I just had an incident there But the guy said oh, yeah, I know the pointer. He's just playing He does it all the time push around and stuff like that So the pointer might be okay with most of the dogs, but as you can see what you just saw was the initial Attack the second one was much worse. That's why I dropped my camera uh, You can argue that the pointer was Okay, that's how he played but you have to know that not all the dogs play that way. Venchi is not used to a dog play with him like that. I personally, I'm pretty sure he wasn't played. I'm sure he wasn't played. But you can argue he was playing, but you have to be aware. If your dog play like that with other, dog, other people's dog, you, my dog may not think he's playing. He may attack back. And kind of also being a better dog, when they start fighting, it's not easy, easy to separate them. Not that I had experience with that, but they had a reputation. So... We better be careful. I like my Kane Crosso this way. Kane Crosso has the reputation of being a protection dog. It can be aggressive, but I'm so glad my Kane Crosso 
is a very friendly dog. He's a lover, not a fighter. Having dogs as big, as strong as Cane Corso, I never thought twice about taking them to the dog park because I don't think anyone could hurt them. What if this happens and we didn't stop it, we couldn't stop it and t this event turned my Cane Corso into an aggressive dog? There, I don't want my dog to be aggressive. To sum up, I will take my dog to the dog park knowing that my dog is big and powerful enough to protect himself. If anything was bad to happen, they will be able to, um, to manage it. And I'm able to manage it. You know, Crane, my little Chihuahua and Bichon Max, she has never ever been to the dog park once. So just letting you know how I manage my dogs. Small toy breeds, I don't take them to the dog parks just in case some big dog wants to grab them by the neck and shake them around. This can happen. Um, so what about you guys? I mean, we all trust our own dogs. What about other people's dog? What happened if it's out of control? In the video you will see there's a lot of people taking small toy breed to the dog parks, play with big massive dogs, and I know a lot of people are doing that for years and years without a problem. What breed of dog do you own? Do you take your small toy breed to the dog parks and how do you manage them so you can ensure their safety? Let us know. I'm really, I'm really curious because personally I can't do it. I just can't imagine if anything happens they can survive the attack. Leave your comments down below and let me know what you think.